Over the past few years, 17-year-old Nevin Harrison has quickly become one of the best paddlers in the world. She spends six days a week on the water. Training with the Gig Harbor Canoe and Kayak Team. A lot of people wonder what it takes to be successful in the sport. She has good balance. Uh, she has that racing mentality, but she also is physically very strong and she works hard to get there. So, you know, she can do, you know, 20 pull-ups and she can deadlift 300 pounds. And that's just not something that a lot of 17-year-olds can do. Nevin grew up playing soccer and softball and started dreaming big early. She tells the story of sitting in front of the television watching the Summer Olympics when she was six and turning to me and saying, Mom, that's what I want to do. As a little kid, I didn't want to be a singer or a dancer or a teacher, whatever. I wanted to be an Olympian. As a freshman at Roosevelt, Nevin thought her path to the Olympics would be on the track. She was one of Seattle's top sprinters, but suffered a setback. I was doing a race and my hip went out and it was never the same. I, I tried so much. I, I did physical therapy. I did everything I could to stay in track, but it just, it wasn't working for my body and I knew I needed to kind of figure out another thing. That would be canoe. She first learned about paddling at a camp on Green Lake. I think the coaches saw something in her that she might likely be able to do this and so nurtured her. It was it was frustrating for the first year or so because you get in and you fall out, you get in and fall out. There's no, you can't get in and go. Um, but, you know, I knew what I wanted to work towards. In 2016, she won her first national championship. In 2019, she won gold at the Pan Am Games. And this past August, Nevin qualified to compete at the World Championships in Hungary. The goal in going to Hungary and obviously supporting her was to finish in the top six. That was what we hoped might happen. We're talking about 35, the 35 fastest female sprint canoeists in the world. The World Championships for me was kind of a huge surprise. Watching her start was just fantastic. She got out of the gate really fast. Did we dare think she could actually pull this out? Oh my gosh, never in a million years did I think I was gonna come in first. My mind was almost blank, but like so full at the same time, because it was like, what do you do when your biggest dream comes true? It was one of the glorious moments of a person's <laughs> lifetime to watch your daughter do this and be so fiercely committed to winning that she was not gonna let anyone catch her. And it was, it was unspeakably wonderful. It was also historic. In front of 20,000 fans, Nevin became the first American to win a medal in a sprint canoe event at the World Championships. They couldn't find the American flag to put on the pole because they're like, we've never used this before. <laughs> they're like, we can't find it. So it took them a while to figure that one out because it was so new. But now Nevin and the U.S. are on the map and working even harder to strike gold again on the world's biggest sports stage, the Olympics. In Gig Harbor, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.